Yo, whether you've been coding for years or just getting started, building something from scratch is what we all set goals to achieve, but often fall short. I can still remember the overwhelm I felt the first five years I spent learning to code. I never felt confident enough to take what I learned from a tutorial and go build something on my own, so I didn't. For all that time, I watched video after video, getting the feeling of progress while having nothing to show for it. Two weeks ago, I documented the process of shipping my first side project into the world, and that has seriously changed my life. I'm not here to waste your time or give you inspiration for just one more day, but I want to lay out the exact steps I would take if I were starting over and wanted to get disciplined about learning to code. Now, first, the most important thing when you're learning anything new is to have a clear goal in mind. It sounds simple, but when you have a vision of how you're going to apply what you're learning, it helps you overcome that lack of motivation you'll end up feeling. You also make progress much faster because you can skip over the content that doesn't relate to what you're trying to accomplish. For you, this could be landing a job as a web developer or finally shipping that app idea that you've always had. We'll touch on this more in a minute, but I think the best way to learn is having that one project you're working on and only searching for external resources as you need them. To give you some context and hopefully a little inspiration, I've been learning Unreal Engine for the last five months solely because I took a class on it and found it very fun. I've always wanted to make a game and decided I was going to build and release one in 2025. Most mornings during the week, I try to spend about two hours at the start of my day working on features for the game. Having this structured time with a clear goal around what I need to build has taught me so much more than if I were simply watching some tutorials when I felt inspired. The next step in learning to code effectively is focusing on the fundamental concepts. It sounds boring, but what I mean by this is understand the why behind everything you learn. While different languages will look different on the surface, at their core, they all follow follow a lot of the same principles. In the last year, I've become comfortable with Go, TypeScript, and Blueprints in Unreal because I have an understanding of the fundamentals of programming. Because I know the concepts that are common in all of these languages like variables, functions, and control flow, it makes picking up new things much easier. I handle errors in very similar ways in both Next.js and Go, and the concept of building reusable modular systems applies to both my UI component libraries and even my MPC dialog system. You will learn slow at first, especially if you're just getting started, but in the long run, it makes building things so much easier, so it's worth the time investment. If you feel overwhelmed by what I just explained, I recommend watching some videos like how does a computer work or how does a server handle an HTTP request, just knowing the basic building blocks of what you're trying to learn. Now, while you're doing that, you need to be very careful not to get stuck in tutorial hell. I've been learning to code for something like eight years now, but the truth is that in the first four, I would watch tutorial after tutorial, just following along with the instructor, feeling very productive, but at the end, I'd read over all this code I wrote and had no idea what it did. The way I got out of this trap was to limit the amount of hand-holding that I had. Right now, my favorite way to learn a new technology is watch one 30 to 90 minute video that just gives me an idea of the basics and then I'm out on my own working on some project with it. Now, if you're brand new to coding, you won't be able to start something completely from scratch, but you can easily quiz yourself on what you've been learning and just try to rebuild or add a small feature to what a tutorial has already taught you. The point is to experience struggle and figure it out by using documentation, short YouTube videos, and anything that can give you an understanding of how to solve solve that problem without just giving you the solution flat out. If I could give any advice to myself when I started, it would be that. The reason I mentioned having a project at the start was it makes this process of iteratively learning much easier. I've only watched a handful of videos that taught me how to build a game in Unreal. I just started building it and whenever I get stuck, I'll look up a very specific video about that one feature I have to build, not the entire game. It of course helps that I've had years of coding before this, but it means that I can do a lot in the engine without needing any outside resources. And and once you're at that point, it makes building things so much fun. Looking at the opposite side of the spectrum, if you have to watch a tutorial that builds the entire app for you, you're going to feel bored and overwhelmed anytime you try to code. Now, this leads into AI and raises the question of how do you and should you use it when learning? As a beginner, I would recommend not using it much until you watch a few basic tutorials where you can understand the core concepts that you need to know. Once you understand those and you're on your own building some sort of project, this is where AI can become really powerful. 
powerful. Personally, I use it almost every day and find it like a more efficient version of Stack Overflow. I still do reference the official docs when I'm using a database or external API, but when I need help writing a function, I try to ask AI what I'm missing and follow up with it to understand the code it's provided. AI, just like Stack Overflow is, is just a tool. I think the best use case for it is to automate the trivial things you already know how to do and more efficiently learn new ones. Now, I've mentioned throughout the video how important building projects is for learning, but I know myself this has been something I've struggled to act on. The biggest reason I haven't built more side projects is I haven't had enough good ideas. The most actionable advice I can give you on this is stop caring about having good ideas. It sounds counterintuitive, but you just need to have enough volume that you train your mind to start noticing problems that you can solve with software. I have a page in Notion where I write down at least one idea every night and whenever I randomly get an idea. Having this dedicated space to dump whatever comes to mind has been the number one factor in helping me come up with my most recent project ideas. Accepting the fact that 80% of them will be dog shit is how you get the 20% that are worth looking into. All of this is meant to shift your mindset so that over time, as you're in the habit of building things, you can start to notice more nuanced problems. Now, fast forwarding, once you have an idea, the next hardest problem is finding time to work on it. This is going to depend on what your life looks like and who you are, but for me, waking up at 4.30 so I can have two to three hours of uninterrupted time to work on my projects is how I'm able to stay consistent. During these work blocks, I try to focus on the smallest feature I can reasonably build in just a couple of hours. Building an entire game is overwhelming, but adding a few lines of dialogue with an NPC is much easier of a task to understand. An idea that's very easy to dismiss, but in my opinion is really powerful, is learning in public. Anytime you make progress in one of your projects, screenshot it or record a video showing off what you've built. Even if no one sees it, there's a level of satisfaction you get from sharing what you've been creating. You also get the benefit of looking back at your work over time. It's not until you start comparing what you're building today to what you did 3, 6, or 12 months ago that you can really see how far you've come, and that's been super motivating for me. What I want you to get out of this video is that to become a builder, you have to build. And once you fall in love with that process, you'll make more progress than you can imagine. If you enjoyed this video, you might want to check out my weekly newsletter that I send out every Sunday morning after these videos. I share the lessons I'm learning from building things and valuable resources that I come across. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope it was valuable. Take care.